happens to the window. We're recording now. Where are you going? So, can I start now? Okay. So, my name is Marta. Uh, I'm working currently uh, in Comoco uh, in the organization with the uh, finance department. So I am happy to join with uh, this uh, training. It is very helpful for me. And uh, I get new things uh, to develop my uh, skills. So thank you for everything. All right, that's, that's great. Um, so we also have Ekram, but she is uh, she's one of the tutors. Um, Ekram, do you want to say something, maybe, before we start the topics of discussion? Okay, so uh, I I hope you already know me, but I am Ekram. I I am a tutor for this U two J two session. Also, uh, I have like uh, I have taken my intensive training from Tena Academy just to highlight a short introduction since uh, we are like since you guys are new for this session also so uh, and I have a uh, I have a background with software engineering bachelor degree before yeah this is a short introduction all right great um, so I think we can get started with today's conversation. So we're just going to have an open conversation in the first 30 minutes about um, how, so I know we're all currently learning how we use AI for project management or for different things. And I also understand that each and every one of us comes from a really different background. So I just thought it would be nice if we could all just um, talk about how, if currently you're using AI in your, um, whatever you do, if it's work, if it's cool, or if it's just any of your projects and, um, yeah, so, and also, if you're not using it, there are some things that you have learned so far at an academy about AI, and it has probably give you an idea of how you're going to um, use AI in your different work or in your field. So, um, if you already have that idea, we would love for you to just share it with us, and then let's just all talk about that. And then um, having that idea in mind, we would like to know, are there any steps that you see um, that you can do next? What are the next steps that you can try to, you can, you can start doing to implement um, this change in your organization or field? Uh, yeah. So does anyone want to start? Um, okay, so maybe we can just start with how do you use AI in your work or field? Let's start with the first question first. Um, anyone? Or if you're not using it, you can just say no, we don't use it so far. Sorry, uh, I think your question is um, what uh, application do you use your uh, workspace uh yes so the question is how are you currently using ai in uh whatever you're doing it could be you're working it could be in school or anywhere in your field doing a certain yeah. project are you are you guys oh. currently using it yes uh we use a different um, uh, application within our, our organization uh, yes. Some example of uh, yeah. Yes, example uh, as SMS uh, using a Slack within our organization to communicate with others with uh, uh, all country with together. Uh, we are from Kenya. We are from Ethiopia. 
We are from South Sudan with together on Slack. And also for uh, finance, uh, we use Odoo application. Do you know where is that? Odoo. So Odoo have uh, different modules. So uh, at on Odoo, there are purchase module, there are expense module, uh, and also there are accounting module. So we will do that for different purposes. For example, for procurement uh, process, we use purchase, purchase module. And also for uh, finance, we use it uh, expense module and uh, also accounting module. And also for HR uh, department, uh, we use employee, uh, employee uh, uh, assessment uh, application. So that is with it. Yeah. Um, that's great. Would you mind just giving just a follow up question? Would you mind giving a background of your organization, uh, what you do? Uh, about our organization? Yes, um, what the company does. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, the, the company name is Incomoco. Also, that's work on uh, entrepreneurship. Uh, yeah, that's given money to uh, SME, and also, yeah. Uh, that's great. I think I've also heard of Incomoco, and I've also been seeing a lot of um, a lot of posts. I think I follow them on LinkedIn or on social platforms, and I think it. It's a really great organization in terms of the impact it has on um, SMEs. Uh, so maybe another follow-up question is, um, do you see in any way, uh, now with the knowledge that you've learned at an academy, do you see how AI can in one way improve uh, activities or day-to-day -day activities in uh, in yeah at in Komoko. Sorry? Uh so it's just Thank a follow up question. question. Okay. Yeah, so um it's great that you've already given us an explanation of uh what Nkomoko does. I wanted to just follow up and ask, uh, do you see in any way uh from what you've learned at an academy about AI, do you do you see a fit for AI at Nkomoko? Like how can AI be used at Nkomoko to improve operations? Okay. Uh, by the way, everything is uh, the same as with uh, using the tools. For example, Slack, uh, Google Workspace. Mm, that is the same as with our organization. Um, uh, when I get on the Ten Academy, things are uh, new for me and Notion. Uh, there are new things for me, so I get uh, this up for uh, with. Uh, your ten academy session, yeah. Okay, um, great. Um, so, just to clarify, um, the do you guys use artificial intelligence in any way currently? No, no, I don't okay. use it. Yeah. Um, do you see an opportunity for using artificial intelligence at in Komoko? No. Okay. Um, all right. Thanks. Um, thanks for sharing. Does anyone have a question or maybe just a comment about in Komoko, what they do? Or if you have an idea that you can just talk about using AI there? Okay, uh, so that means thank you so much for sharing. I think we have learned a thing or two from your organization. Um, 
so we can maybe go to the next or before we even go to Diana, um, I could just share a bit of um uh, how we use AI at Ten Academy, maybe. And maybe Ekram can also help me here. And then yeah. Uh so the topic of discussion is on how we use artificial intelligence in our organizations. And one of the ways that Ten Academy has um, has adopted the use of AI is number one in terms of grading. So we have a software team that have come up with this model that grades um, students' assignments, considering now that Ten Academy is scaling and we're getting many uh many trainees uh it can be hard for a tutor to grade to do all the grading manually so what we do is we use an ai grader which is powered by um ai or some different ml algorithms and then it gives a score according to what it has been told um so the work of a tutor is kind of simplified because what they do is they come back and just review what has been graded. Um, yeah, it reviews what has been graded and with that it saves them a lot of time. So sometimes the grader cannot be 100% uh, accurate. So that's the work of the, so the tutors just review and it saves, uh, it saves a lot of time and energy. Um, yeah, but with time, it's also being improved. Um, yeah, so the second application that I can say for AI, that how Ten Academy has implemented uh, artificial intelligence is specifically for the intensive training. I'm not sure if you guys know about the intensive training. Um, so the intensive training helps, so once, helps uh it supports the trainees after the training to get jobs so what it does is they created a system that um has all the data for the trainees and then it um it also has it pulls data from different uh using the different from different websites and then it helps to recommend the trainees the some certain jobs to apply so um, instead of the trainee going to uh linkedin and doing all the applications um they can just okay they can do both but they can use leap because uh, so leap is the platform and yeah they can use leap and they get they get jobs recommended for them which matches uh what their CV is. Um, so yeah, that's basically some of the applications. Um, Ekram, do you have anything to add regarding how AI is being used at an academy? I think like you have already mentioned Samin once. So I think we can continue with Diana now. Okay, yeah. Um, Diana, do you mind uh, telling us about um, if you're already using AI to workplace, if not, are there opportunities that you see you can improve um, in the workplace? Okay. Uh, as a software engineering student, we use AI a lot, uh, especially ChatGPT. When we have a problem with our code, we uh, we google it yeah but most of the time we give it to ChatGPT and he will guide us how to solve the problem or how to fix the bug um, and after i joined in academy i started using copilot uh, you guys know copilot right so I guess this is it. Yeah, I think I think that's good. I I love um I love what you say that it helps you with doing your assignments and tasks. And I think it's also like a really great personal assistant because 
um, instead of going to Google and searching all those things and not finding what exactly you're looking for, uh, maybe ChatGPT or Copilot helps you get specific answers and it reduces the amount of time to search. Um, yeah, that's great. Um, so maybe just a follow-up question. If you had any extra, um, just an idea of how you would use AI for a certain project, do you have any so far? Till now, I don't think anything. Okay. Are, um, uh, when writing essays and other things, we can use AI like to guide us and support us. Okay. Um, yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, so I think we're almost coming to the first, to the end of the first half of the session. Um, Margaret, if you are talking, you're muted. Oh, yes, I was. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, I was saying um, we've come to, that was the end of the first topic, the first session um, of women's only session. So the second session is always tailored to give the women in our team extra support in terms of the technical assignments if you're experiencing any problems um, or if there's a concept that you've struggled to understand uh, we've given this extra 30 minutes specifically for that and this is a free open space um, so even if you're struggling with the most basic thing uh, this is the place to just air it out, and we have our technical tutor, Ekram, to guide us through it. Uh, yeah, so Marta and Dana, do you have any... Do you have anything that you're struggling with that you'd like to get help with? Mm, no, uh, maybe. Is there any... Uh support uh, a space without this session um i, I didn't get you well is there a, a, any other space without the session to ask support uh so like on google meet or on slack yeah who's touch uh, to ask uh, yes, you can you can use the women's only uh, channel on Slack to ask oh. questions later. Is there a women group on Slack? Yeah, I I, and you there. Oh, really, I have not seen that. <laughs> Still. Oh, okay, uh, let me just check. I'm sorry you have not been added. I just... I did, you know. Yeah, yeah I think I just no, added I you. Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. really sorry. I've never. Um, when did you join? Uh, on this four week. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Next ninety. Yeah. Okay. I think we haven't added guys from week four. Thanks for the reminder. I think we'll add them. Thanks. Um. Diana, do you have any question or something you're struggling with technically or if you're stuck? Uh, actually, I don't have anything that I'm struggling with now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and can I ask you something? Yes, please. Uh, can I quit because I'm taking the other 10 academy course? Uh, on AI and machine learning, and we have a Google meeting right now. Can I quit? Uh, yes, yes, I think you can. Okay, and thank you for your support, all of um, you. Thank and you too. I'm glad that I know you. 
Great. We, uh, me too. I'm glad we all know each other now. Um, I think we're also just going to end the session here because there's nothing else on the agenda to discuss. Uh, yeah, Dana, you may leave. Okay, I can't do you. anything to add. Like I would like to say, glad that we all know each other, and we will, we will like, we'll continue to reach out uh, for each trainees. And Martha, if you have any question or if you need any any guidance or support, you can just uh, DM us. So we we can have a private session if you want to. So no worries. We will try to make this uh, training as much as as much easy as we can so no worries we can reach out for each other and thank you so like i think uh, have a good day for all of you thank you so much woman have a good day have a great day everyone thanks bye